and it is garlic scape season. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead. My name is Jason and we are in Southwest Ohio. Beautiful spring day and it is garlic scape season. We love to use garlic scapes here. Uh, garlic scapes are becoming a new thing for people. Uh, they, some people don't understand what they are, but we love to use garlic scapes because we grow a lot of garlic. So we get a lot of garlic scapes. And so we don't want to waste these. It's an absolute delicious treat that you get off of the garlic plant itself. And some people may be confused about what you need to do with them, about what's going on with them. So we're gonna come over here, we'll show you what the garlic scape is, and Angela's gonna to talk to you about how to about how to cut them and what to do with them, okay? So this is what it's gonna look like when it first starts shooting up. See, the garlic scape comes out of the this garlic stalk, okay? This is the this is the stalk from the garlic itself, and this is what they look like when they're starting to come out, like this right here, okay? This is how they look when they're starting to come out of there and shoot up from the middle. And this is actually the garlic's natural habit, okay? to produce seed because this is going to be a flower stalk okay and at the top of this is going to be a flower um, if you let it go too long uh, th that is not what you want for your garlic now we, we plant hard neck garlic here there's two types of garlic hard neck and soft neck and hard neck is the only one that does this okay but you do not want to let it go beyond like being tender okay so Angela's going to show you what to do this one right here is not ready yet see it's not quite big enough it's just starting to curl over and he can go for probably another day or two before he'll be ready. Now, this one on the other hand, this one, as you can see, has started curling. And he, he's almost made an O. Basically, when they get to this point where they make almost like a teardrop, see, you can see it right there. It's almost like a teardrop shape. Because they've curled so much, and they're about that thickness. Some of them will be a little th thinner. It depends on the size of your garlic head, basically. That's when you know that they're ready. Now, you have... Some of you may have seen people let them go straight up like this. And this, this part right here will get real fat. It will get like that big. And it's getting ready to bloom then. That's too far. And this, do not this, do that. if it straightens, yep. if it straightens, do not. It's stiffen to to bloom. Yep. And those are unusable then. <laughs> and at that point, your garlic has decided to go to seed. Yep. And if it goes to seed, it's not going to make a bulb. Exactly. It's not going to make your beautiful head of garlic that you are wanting. You cut this so your garlic will make a head. So even if you are not going to use the garlic scape itself, you need to cut it at this point instead of letting it go too far. I have no idea why you wouldn't want to use it. <laughs> but I'm just saying, even if you didn't want to use it, you got to cut it before it goes that these, far. These things are so stinking tasty. Oh, they're delicious. Now, you want to cut it down. See where this leaf comes in at? You want to cut it as close to that leaf as possible. Yep. And I usually like to cut mine on an angle. It usually severs better that way, basically. And there. You have a good garlic scape. Yep. Awesome. And see, I cut it on an angle. Yep. That's awesome. And okay. you can do many things with these. Yep. So, we're going to cut the rest of these so it's ready to cut. And we'll show you what we got. So there you saw Angela K make a beautiful, just an awesome flavored garlic, uh, garlic scape pesto for our garlic scape pesto pizza. And you know, other people done videos about it, talking about maybe it's a little strong, the garlic scapes. Uh, Angela done a video last year with this pesto pizza and it's awesome. But this year she used pecans in the pesto and it, it mellowed it out for a lot more. It gave it just a beautiful flavor and it mellowed it out. It's still a good strong flavor and if you love garlic, you're gonna absolutely love this. But I mellowed it out some, it just created a, a, a more balanced uh, flavor and honestly, a beautiful pizza. So I'm gonna stop eating my pizza and be on my way, okay? So you guys, thank you so much for watching. We do appreciate it. My name is Jason, this is 
That was Angela K. It's our Christian homestead. Love you guys. God bless you and goodbye.